Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and we are doing Iron Trap on the road, helping friends. So I am at my buddy Jason's place that you see help us out quite often. And Jason has been over the past couple years gathering parts to build a 32 pickup project, and he got what a BB project, what about a year ago? Maybe? Year ago, yeah. Yeah, so kind of been help coaching Jason through the process of how you do this for as cheap as possible. So he bought a pretty clean cab that was on a BB chassis and all that, and he uh, sold a lot of the BB stuff to you know get himself almost close to even. What's up guys, Jason, Iron Trap, if you wanna say New Jersey uh, section, uh, coming to you guys with a, another video today on my 32 Ford truck build. If you guys watched in my last episode, I was working on getting the firewall in place, channeling it, cutting it out so it'll fit with that Pontiac 389 engine in it. And like I had mentioned in the last episode, uh, I wanna, the next project for me was to tackle the grill and radiator mounting. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today in this episode going ahead and getting that sitting in place so I can uh, actually when I open the garage door I can actually see a 32 truck with a 32 grill so let's get to it guys here we are at the uh, first stopping point I just wanted to point out that I used some two by fours uh, blocks of wood I had kicking around to get this radiator propped up basically where it needs to be again two by four across from cal to top of radiator one and a half degrees of rake. This rain channel here has got about two and a half degrees because I have, this is all slightly raked. Um, so that's done. Now I'm running into a problem of where the lower radiator outlet is hitting the cross member. I'm gonna have to notch that. Um, obviously I'm not gonna stick a hose or try to stick the hose between the radiator, or excuse me, between the cross member and the spring but at least I'll give me a little bit more room to push this back and I'm gonna to have to modify that outlet at some point to get this whole thing to work. But I just wanted to show you guys where we're at right now and I should be able to make some easy tab, tabs and uh, so that way this radiator can sit in place and get that grill on.
right, guys, I wanted to take a second and just go over this with you. Uh, this was part of the old frame from the back. Uh, so this is actually 3 16th. Uh, I've mentioned it before in other videos. This is a BB frame, so it is much thicker. Uh, thicker. I was thinking about using an eighth inch plate and doing this bracket, and I was going to, and then decided uh, let's just overcomplicate things. So use back half of the frame, uh, curved it, give it the curvature of, of the inside of the horn up here, and had to notch the horn a little bit, but this sits in there just like that, which is real nice. And if we come up here, it's hard to tell, but this sits now flush with the frame because the radiator is a tight fit in here. So I'll go ahead and get this other side bent up, and uh, I'm just going to bolt this together. Uh, this is what this truck's telling me right now, quite honestly. Um, I don't want to weld this in. Um, I'm just getting those vibes that I'm just going to use two bolts uh, here to hold it down. And I may end up actually slotting this a little bit just to give myself a little bit of extra room uh, in case I need to push the radiator slightly forwards to uh, for this uh, uh, coolant hose. Rather, I don't want to get too tight to the cross member. So if I give myself a little bit of room, and that way also I can uh, fine tune things. But I wanted to show you guys that. I'll get the other side uh, mounted up, or made rather, get this mounted so I can put this radiator in place. All right, guys, I want to do a quick overview with you over these brackets that I have made. So here they are bolted in place, uh, two bolts over here. I did not end up actually slotting this. I uh, just used a regular 3 8 drill bit to drill it out and then my uh, chamfer bit to clean up the edges. And, uh, you know, same thing over there. So overview of that. Uh, again, the rubber mounts that I had used, put this light down. Uh, rubber mounts I just cut out and used a, just a half inch drill bit here to drill this out on a piece of plywood and uh, drilled out really nice looks like something you'd buy out of a uh, out of a store but just sits on place here like so and then this girl can go in place Well guys, she's starting to look more and more like a hot rod at the end of every episode. So as you guys saw in the last clip, I was going ahead and installing the radiator and the grill shell uh, with those simple Z brackets that I had made. 
I went ahead and dressed the edges uh, with the flap disc and a file just to smooth everything out, make it nice, uh, smooth lines, nothing jagged. Not that you'll be underneath to hurt yourself, but it's always nice. I have uh, just right now safety wire holding the radiator in the upright position. At a later time, I will go ahead and make the uh, radiator support rods, which is just regular 516 steel, which I have. So it's just a matter of me getting to it and making a set. So what's really nice for me is now that I get to walk out here and I get to see this original 32 grill sitting on my truck. So very happy. Usually at the end of every episode that I've done, I'm happy. Uh, but this is really good. So it's, it's nice to actually start seeing something uh, build here. And uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna be doing next. Uh, I have steering, I got everything to do, but I got steering I need to do. Uh, I was gonna go cow steering on that one, uh, most likely. Uh, I got a really cool 41 dash that I was able to get from Carl's uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, I was probably gonna use that and um, I could work on that. I also need to work on the back half of the frame. Those things I just talked about, I have material for. So really doesn't cost me anything. So that stuff I'm gonna work on before I get into other things like say headlights or anything like that. So uh, yeah, great way to end the day. I am happy. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.